I want to present to you Shade Top uh, that is now available for sale. The name is after the most important feature, which are these two wings, uh, two shade structures. Even though it appears to be just a, a really nice uh, top, it's very really technical, uh, starting from construction and ending with the fabrics. So construction-wise, these two uh, slips has a semi-rigid edge uh, that allows it to float around your arm instead of uh, resting or like hanging down here and draping. It just uh, floats, flexibly floats uh, around the arm, creating the shade. Uh, basically, you feel like you're wearing something sleeveless because the garment in this part does not touch your body. But at the same time, your shoulders are not exposed to the sun, so they don't burn because this is the most exposed part for the sun and gets the most sunburn. So that's why I created this uh, structure in order to cover this the most sensitive part. And uh, at the same time, because uh, it's not like a t-shirt uh, hugging you close, first of all, you don't get too hot from this part being covered and wrapped in the fabrics. But second, also you don't have this line, you don't have a very strong distinction between uh, like white uh, skin and uh, tan skin. It, you can still see that there is some uh, difference, but it's much more gradual uh, because it shifts around and, uh, first of all, and second of all, because the fabric, and that's the second important thing, uh, is also mesh, so some sunlight goes through. So it's not 100% um, UV protective garment, but it is a somewhat intermediate uh, one. It, it cuts down, I don't know, I cannot tell you the numbers, but maybe 60 or 80% of sun rays uh, going through it. So preventing the skin from uh, getting so burned, but at the same time allowing some of it to go through, so there is some tanning going on. So the second most important feature is the fabric. Uh, as I mentioned just now, it's a mesh fabric. Uh, the con it is um, made out of cool max fibers, which I believe is polyester or polyamide. Um, uh, fibers that um, absorb moisture from the skin and easily transport it and uh, let it evaporate uh, from the fabric itself, keeping it dry and therefore more cool. Um, regarding other features and construction of the top in the front we have, now with the microphone I have to move it a little maybe, uh, we have here a magnet closure, weak magnet but strong enough to hold this, but weak enough not to pinch your skin before uh, I tried on this top some stronger magnet and sometimes it would just pinch my skin between two magnets. Not too unpleasant, but not like better not to have it. So this one does not do this. And it's an, uh, strong enough just to hold this together. Uh, basically, this opening allows for more ventilation. Even though it's mesh, ventilation opening is still uh, like 100% open, is still more than 80% uh, open. And at the same time, it allows you to just uh, modify a little bit. Okay, now this is microphone is a little bit uh, weird maybe in this area, but it allows you to tuck this in and uh, have a bigger opening. And uh, it's kind of a different look that is also kind of quite nice. Why I didn't uh, make the top all the straight like this, just because this area also gets burned from the sun uh, when it's straight above you. So I prefer to have it covered, but with an option to open it. Now on the back, uh, there is also a few, uh, now let me try to <laughs> somehow show it, yeah. A few, uh, two openings uh, along the center of the back, just for a little more extra ventilation when you're maybe, I don't know, biking and uh, you're hunched forward, they open from your body position and allow a little more ventilation. What else? Yeah, the, the sleeve from the side, just to, to show you. Um, quite simple garment, but uh, since I made one, I wear it absolutely every day. Like the same for the shorts, but it, it's just, it's just so good. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the garment that uh, uh, covers me from the sun, covers me from the looks, uh, because of course I can't be going around in the swimming suit top, like just two triangles and nothing else. But okay, it's uh, first of all, it's exposed to radiation, sun radiation, but at the same time, it's just like uh, people looking. Uh, 
Uh, also, also one more feature that I didn't know when I was designing it, but I found out while using it. The top um, is that these wings uh, protect this part of the skin when you wear a backpack. Just let me grab a backpack to demonstrate it. So normally when you wear some summer tops with a sleeveless like tank tops, this part uh, could be exposed part of the skin. And then when you wear a backpack, especially if these straps are not uh, well thought for touching against bare skin, this could be quite uh, like, like this uh, in the regular garment, let's say. This could be quite uh, irritating if you walk all day long with it or if it's hot and you're sweating. But the, uh, this nice wing construction, uh, even though it leaves this to part to ventilate when worn normally, but when you wear the backpack over, it just uh, folds over and uh, covers this uh, sensitive area so that backpack straps do not uh, irritate at all. I don't feel my skin does not touch backpack strap at all. It touches only the um, top itself. And actually, even for this, for side buckles and something, when you walk, and uh, even now I feel not nice because it's, it's hot and my skin might be a little bit sticky, like it might be irritating. So there is a nice layer of protection against that. So I like uh, to find such um, unplanned features that I didn't... Um, designed but they are coming out of already existing designs uh, it's very nice now i'm wearing the size one size smaller than it is uh, appropriate for my measurements and that's what i wanted to show the last thing is that uh, this uh, top is made to be floating around it's made to be uh, quite not oversized but uh, free-flowing and uh, I made three sizes, uh, my own size, one size smaller and one size bigger, just to see how uh, smaller and bigger sizes work. So this is a uh, size uh, 84, uh, basically sizes correspond to your chest circumference, so 84. Uh, it sits quite uh, tight on me uh, compared to the, my proper size 92, which I will demonstrate just now. Uh, the darts are ending a little bit higher, so this top would be more appropriate for a little bit shorter person. So smaller size is shorter person, uh, bigger size is for slightly taller. Okay, it's an average approximation that shorter people uh, have smaller uh, circumferences and people who have smaller circumferences are shorter. Uh, not always works that way, but um, let's assume. So it's slightly shorter on its own, the top itself, and the sleeves are slightly shorter. Now I will change uh, in size 92, which is my appropriate size, and I will show how it differs. So this is my appropriate size, and I actually feel cooler when I'm wearing it, because it sits a little bit farther off my body. It has more allowances uh, around in my circumferences. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I feel immediately, I feel a little more ventilated in this. Uh, so you see this top extends longer, the shoulders, uh, the sleeves are bigger, the split uh, is lower, ending lower, and the top of the darts are more aligned with my natural uh, breast positions. Uh, also, just now, as I was changing the top, uh, one more uh, extra, useful feature uh, based on the feature that is already here so this magnet uh, when you put the top on or you pull it off it it opens automatically so you don't need like to open the button here or something so you just pull it off and uh, when you put it on as well sometimes it can even uh, close on its own uh, because in close proximity they just find each other and ching, snap so this is uh, my appropriate size, but I like the small size. It just get, uh, have a different look on me. So if I want, if it, basically I would choose it uh, when it's not as hot and when I know that my garments that I wear with it would look better with something slightly shorter, slightly more fitting. And now let me show you the one size bigger. Next one. This is size hundred. Uh, still looks all right, but it's noticeably more volumey. 
in here, of course, because it's made for the chest circumference 100 and my chest circumference is 95. Uh, 100 and a little more, a little less. So from, let's say, 98 to 108, I would say this is okay size. Um, yeah, but it still looks okay, a little bit, little bit noticeably too large, but it's, this is even more ventilated, I feel, in it, <laughs> uh, which uh, makes sense. And the sleeves are slightly longer. So here is all about uh, the new shade top. It's available on functionclothinglab.com. You can just go and buy one for yourself or for your girlfriend, for your friend, for your mom, for anybody who feels hot, for anybody who might like to wear something functional yet quite beautiful.